Okay, what's going on guys? Uh, so for today's video, we're gonna remove the front differential of this one Toyota Tundra 2005 uh, Because the differential This one, the front differential is broken uh, I'm gonna try to repair this one Because this one sometimes stuck up and when I turn it is making noise from the inside I think the bearing there is uh, broken already so I'm gonna try to remove the front differential and repair that I'm not sure if I can repair it if I, if I cannot repair it I'm gonna replace the front differential but for, for today's video I'm gonna remove the front differential keep on watching guys so first thing we need to do is we need to remove the tire because we need to remove the axle out so we're gonna turn on the tire first then we're gonna remove the axle out the CB shop this is a uh, 21 millimeter 21 or 22 I'm not sure yeah it's 21 millimeter so remove this first the tire Then we're gonna remove the brake caliper, but we need to remove this first, the pin here, the lock. Then remove it with the plier or anything you can use to remove this thing. And that's my other mistake guys um, because the brake hose is going inside here on the bracket so I need to remove the bracket I um, need to remove the 12 millimeter here so I'm gonna put this back so we need to remove this 12 millimeter here that 12 millimeter there we need to remove it be careful to remove this bolt guys sometimes this is what this one is really rusty if you force it to take it out you might be gonna broke the bolt here then we can remove the brake caliper I think this is a 20 millimeter Some other uh, differential like Tundra, uh, Tacoma, the old motor, you, even if you're not gonna remove the axle out, you can easily remove the uh, dip front differential. But this one, I need to, we need to remove the differential. I mean the axle. Then uh, pull the caliper out, it's like so. I'm gonna use a hanger to secure the brake caliper. Yeah, I'm gonna hang it somewhere here. Then, uh, next thing we need to do, maybe I'm gonna remove this bolt here. Bolt here, holding the lower bolt joint. There's four bolt here, 14 millimeter, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna remove that. Uh, you can also remove this one, guys. But this one, if you're gonna remove this one, it's gonna be hard. So it's better to remove this bolt. Then if we're gonna, then we're gonna remove the outer tie rod too. This one here.
Are we gonna try to separate the pole joint to the knuckle? Try bar. Separate already. Ah, yeah. So if you're gonna. So guys, if you're gonna uh, remove the bolt here on the bolt joint, I think even if we're not gonna remove the uh, outer tie rod, just those four there, um, then you can remove the axle nut here. Nut, head, screwdriver, and uh, hammer. Okay. So guys, uh, I remove this one, but see, I bend the cup cover I think I'm gonna uh, fix it later not later maybe next time then we gonna remove the pin here the axle nut Then remove this uh, castle, like a castle nut, but it is just a cover. And I'm gonna remove the axle nut. I think this is 36 millimeter. 36 millimeter. Remove the axle nut. Then we can push the axle. And now we're gonna we can remove the axle already. Just push this one out. Just push this one out. Uh, you can use hammer or hammer and punch like this. Punch like this and hammer to separate this one on the front uh, differential. Okay. Then we can take it out now. The axle. Axle shop. Uh, just do the same on this side. The uh, passenger side is same metal. The same uh, procedure. Nothing different, guys. So I'm gonna do the passenger side first but I'm not gonna show it to you so guys go back here I removed the axle shop here already on this side the passenger side but uh, uh you need to remove the shop here on front differential to the trunk per case I didn't remove this one because uh, I didn't remove this one uh, my co-worker removed he removed this thing, the shop here. This one is easy to uh, take out, just four bolt here, and there's a four four nuts here on the transfer case. Just remove those things, the bolt here and the nuts here. Uh, we're gonna remove this cover out. So there's a, I think I believe this is 12 millimeter, six of them, but not the bolt is missing already. Two of them is missing. So we're gonna remove this cover first. Then. We need to remove that uh, connector and the breather hose here. There's two holes there. 
to get this one. Long nose and press it down, then pull it. Okay, just press this one here and pull it. Then we're gonna remove the breather hose. Just pull it, twist it first. Okay, and the uh, other one here. This one we need to remove, but this one we need to remove the uh, clump. Then twist it again. You can use a plier or something, so you can twist this thing. The breather hose. this already the connector um, so next thing we need to do is remove this thing the bolt here Allen key I'm not sure what size of this one but we can remove this one here so it's just uh, 12 millimeter Allen key so guys better to remove the differential fluid before you lower it down so for me I'm not gonna take uh, I'm not gonna drain out the brick uh, the differential fluid I think there's no I think it's drain already no more it's splashing all all the way here splashing all over this uh, bracket here holding the differential there's two one here one here and one over here so we're gonna remove those things 19 millimeter so there's a nut here on the top we need to uh, get uh, some combination wrench to hold the nuts on the yeah there's a nut here this one Hold it the front differential while you removing this bolt. Okay, then we can take it out now. I think we can take it out now. I'm not sure, guys. It's hard to take it out because the uh, bolt going here is holding the bushing so you need to use pry bar oh uh, so i can take it out um might be we need to remove this bolt here and there's one on the top right there right there so we need to remove that I think that's a 17 millimeter too so you're gonna remove that first like this okay okay guys uh, I removed the bolt here and the other the other one there 
that's 17 millimeter I use ordinary wrench like this to remove those things to remove those bolt then I put a uh, support here like the jack and I put the bolt for the meantime here so I'm gonna remove this again then we can move the differential out already so you're gonna remove the bolt here first when I put on This is the differential. This is the differential, guys. Too heavy. So just remove. Okay, guys. Ah, uh, where's the? Let's remove this bolt here. Here and the other one here. The bracket. This bracket. This bracket. Just remove the bolt here. And here, so I'm gonna put this back here first. For the meantime, I don't want to lose it. So that's how you do the. So how you? That's how you. So that's how you remove the front differential Toyota Tundra 2005, 4.7 liter engine. It's easy guys. I did this for not even 2 hours. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching.